When should I hire my first employee? Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-partner of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Well, you know, that's a, a good question. You know, I often hear that, you know, because when you're, uh, when you're first starting out in your cleaning company, uh, you're going to grow it to a certain point, and then at some, at some time, you're going to have to decide on where you're going to hire that first employee. So I'll give you a few tips on, on the things to look for that are key indicators that maybe it's time for you to hire your first employee. Uh, the first thing is that uh, you're turning down work. Uh, so that's quite clear, clear and simple there. You know, you're just so busy that you're getting referrals and people wanting to uh, do business with you, but you have to turn it down because you can't handle no more work. You're, you're already burning the candle at both ends. So that's a clear indication. Uh, now, the other thing is, too, is that your current clients are complaining, um, you know, because you're, you're dead tired, uh, you're trying to do too much, and you're missing things, you're losing focus, whatever it might be, but they're complaining, and that's not good. You know, we can't have uh, uh, complaints coming from our clients. Uh, I think that's probably one of the number one golden rules of, of a cleaning business. No complaints. Uh, and I always believe that, you know, what we do isn't that hard. Uh, to, to make somebody happy, uh, you know, about cleaning their facility or office. So, uh, the other thing is that uh, you don't have time to do the paperwork or your bookkeeping. That's a pretty clear indicator that it's time maybe you get some help. Either that you hire a bookkeeper or you hire a bookkeeping service, uh, something, because you just don't have time. Um, but, you know, again, uh, the, the better uh, focus there is to, is to hire your first uh, cleaning employee uh, rather than, uh, you know, uh, you, can go, you can always hire that bookkeeper later on, but I think you need somebody out in the field uh, right away to help. Um, something else is that a uh, key indicator is that you're working 12 to 15 hours a day. Uh, you know, and maybe uh, for some of us, you're working more than that. You know, maybe you're kicking in 15 to 20 hours. You know, it, uh, sometimes it just gets crazy uh, and you're just pushing and pushing and pushing. But that's a clear indicator that you need some help. You know, you need to hire your first cleaning employee uh, to help take the burden off you. You know, and generally what you're going to do is you're going to hire a first, your, your first employee is going to be a part-time employee. You know, somebody that's going to work three to four hours a day. It might be three days a week to begin with. It could be a couple days a week. Uh, and in some cases, you know, it really depends on uh, the applicant that you that you find. You know, in some cases, some people are just looking for a couple days a week or, or whatever. But anyway, the, the key here is to make sure that we hire our first employee to help take some of that, uh, that, that burden off us. Uh, now, another, another key point, uh, dead giveaway. If you can't take any time off or any vacation time or just take a break, it's time to get uh, to hire your first employee. So that's, a, that's an obvious one. I remember in my first company, uh, I didn't take a vacation or a break for eight years. Um, you know, I think back about that and I, I don't know why. Uh, I enjoyed what I was doing. You know, I was building a business. Uh, it wasn't that I, uh, that I didn't have uh, employees because after the first year, I actually hired my first employee uh, because of some of the things that I'm telling you about is that, you know, I just had too much work. I couldn't do it all myself anymore. But... So in that example, uh, again, if you're a solo cleaner, a solo operation, you know, with just yourself, you have you can't take any time off. So you have to have devised some kind of a system, hire a, a new uh, cleaning employee, or uh, use a, a temp service or something. But uh, in this video here, we're talking about hiring our new new first employee. Uh, so that's what we want to do. Uh, just to get some time off, take a break. You have to recharge your batteries. Very important. Now, the last uh, uh, last example I have is that your company's just not growing. Uh, that's a clear indicator that we need some help here, because again, you know, we can only do so much in a day. Uh, we can only clean so many square feet. Uh, you know, uh, we're, we're you know we think we're super men and super women, but we're not. Um, it's just important that uh, our company is not growing and after all, isn't that why we started a business? Uh, because we wanted to grow it, we wanted to be successful and you can still do that as a solo entrepreneur but uh, in some cases if you want to go to the next levels you have to start hiring employees. 
So in that case, then that's what you want to do is you want to consider hiring that first employee. Uh, and it's a big step, you know, hiring that first employee is a big deal. You know, uh, before you hire that employee, you want to make sure you have a company policy manual. Very important. I talk to many cleaning companies that still don't have a policy, a company policy manuals. They've been in business for many years. They might have, you know, four or five employees. Uh, the reason that I always advise that you should have one is because it's a liability issue whenever you have employees. So let's say if you were to hire me as an employee, I come to work for you as a cleaner, uh, then uh, for whatever reason, let's say I start showing up a little bit late each day to work. Um, and you, uh, you confront me about it and you tell me, Steve, you know, uh, you're supposed to be here at 8 o'clock or whatever it is, and you're always showing up about 15 minutes late. You know, we can't have that. But yet, you don't have a company policy manual or any policy in place that states that. Um, so, you know, let's say for whatever reason you decide to fire me or terminate me, well, maybe I might, uh, might file a suit of a wrongful termination. Because I have no company policy manual to go by. There are no rules and regulations, you know. So that's one of the examples that I, that I often use is that uh, that's the, the, the whole reason why you got to have a company policy manual when you hire your first employee. <clears throat> very, very important. Uh, the other thing is too is that we got to have some training programs. You should have, a, have two primary programs. You should have a, a general cleaning training program and you should have a safety training program. Very important. We have to be able to teach people how to clean because even though they tell you they know how, 99.99% don't know how to clean uh, because chances are they were never formally trained in, in the old company that they just came from if they worked for somebody but anyway everybody needs to be trained on, on the, your systems and procedures that you use to clean a facility or an office uh, the other thing too now is that we have to provide safety training <clears throat> very important why would we want to put an employee out there in the workplace that hasn't been properly trained on safety? Things to look for, you know, uh, such as uh, if there's an equipment uh, issue with a piece of equipment or electrical cord, how to use a step ladder, you know, how to mix chemicals, if we're mixing chemicals. You know, what things not to mix, what things not to use, what things not to do. Very important. So, those are the types of things that we got to think about when we hire our first employee. And if you follow the guidelines that I gave you earlier, it's going to be a clear indicator that it's time to think about that. So when the time comes, make sure you create that list of the things that you got to have in place before you hire that person. Have a hiring system. Make sure you got a training system, a safety training, a company policy manual. Uh, it's going to make your life so much easier if you have these things in, in uh, these systems in place before you hire an employee. Don't wait till after you hire an employee or, or two or three and then start developing these systems. Uh, you're, you're late to the party, my friend, so uh, don't do that. Uh, get this done before you hire that first person. You'll thank me later because uh, it, it's going to be a lifesaver for you. You won't have to you know, pull back on your growth be, just so you can create some systems. But, well, that's it. Uh, I'm, I hope that you got something from this video. And uh, if you're in need of uh, hiring an employee or wondering when you should hire an employee, well, I got you, gave you some basic tips. Thanks.